Hey YouTube, this is Superblade7. I have to hurry up. I have some friends downstairs right now. They're having a good time without me because I'm busy doing some kind of an emergency here. But I, my, you know those quarry cats that I had in the fish tank? Well, I've done some upgrades. I'll talk more about it in another video because I've been busy with the tank. As you can see, there's some new faces over there, I think. You can see, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm currently just worried right now. I just lost both the Cory Cats. I tried putting algae eaters in here because as you can see with the color, it's not super pretty right now. But I bought some uh, algae remover. Aquion algae remover. I'm not sponsored by any of the products that I show. It's just what I use because I thought they were pretty decent so far. And I didn't know why I didn't get it sooner, but I just got a airstone. It came back in the last catfish. Finally, it was dead. And the other one died earlier today. This one was going was belly up, but he was kept moving on the top of the water. So I thought if I got here fast enough, I could put him into a little container and blow bubbles into it to help keep him alive. But no luck. Um, and right now, I'm dreading the worst right now because my I have tetras and they're perfect. My tetras are fucking stupid. So. There, they'll be. They could survive in anything, and so can betas. But I have him. As you can see, he's still moving and gasping. I've been taking a straw and blowing bubbles into there. I take a, I take a breath of air before I have my my lungs have time to put too much CO2 into it. I try to do it when the air is still roughly like closer to my into my throat, so I can fucking so I can get fresher air in there. But I don't want to put him in here with this big body of water, cause him to use too much energy just to not be able to do anything. But Alpha is currently holding on right now. He's in fishy ER. And I'm really worried because this entire tank and stuff was to, for a beta. And I don't know. I'm really worried. There's been some other things that have been going on with like reptiles and I, well, at least, you know, Sal. But I need to find a good video editor to splice all that together before I can show you guys. So, I don't know. I might hold him over the aerator that I just got, the airstone, and see if I can, you know, like, see if that can kickstart and then I'll put him back in here. I mean, I'll dump the water out and put some more of this water back in. It's right over top of the aerator, but for now... I'm just really worried for him because, you know, they're my fish, they're my pets, they're my animals, they're my responsibility, and they're my job. I love animals. I don't want them to... Like, I lost four fish within this, this week alone. Like, my tetras are okay. I thought allergy eaters and catfish, of all things, would survive, but no. No. I don't know what the fuck's going on, guys, but I'm really worried. Hoping this can start dispersing enough oxygen into the entire tank for things to start living better. But the water, now that I notice what that word smell is, that's stagnant water, I've noticed. I thought the filter would have been enough. I'm still new to this, and this is just one of those horror stories, I guess, but people only ever talk about it. I want to document this so people don't make my mistake. When you set up for a fish, make sure you have some good source of oxygen, unless it's an easy to unless it's a beta in its own little tank. Because then the oxygen, the then the keep a filter with it though, or change its water out quite often because that's what puts more oxygen into it. I mean, even as the water starts to stand still, different elements start to evaporate out of the water, causing it to pull in less oxygen because the oxygen wants to bond with it. So, on a chem chemically speaking water will get stagnant without a even even with a filter for that matter because it just pulls it in it just pulls it in and then loops it back i mean especially with that amount of distance there's not much for it to put enough water for any of this to start getting decent oh my god look at <gasps> he's moving okay i'm gonna blow some more bubbles in there i'm gonna keep him in here for a little while longer until he's like rejuvenated i'm gonna try feeding him and I'm going to place him back into the tank, and he's probably going to hopefully stick near the aerator, or at least some of the air bubbles will make it near him. But, okay, 
Either way, make sure there's some decent source. Even if you have to just constantly blow bubbles in there for maybe five out, five minutes every few hours, do something to make sure oxygen gets in here. You'd think the water is two oxygen, you know, it's two hydrogen in an oxygen molecule. Well, those are bonded together to make water. Therefore, the oxygen cannot be used. There's dissolved water, that there's dissolved oxygen that attempts to connect with, there's dissolved oxygen that attempts to connect with all the other oxygen that's in there, but it can't, so it escapes out. Or it gets bonded with carbon, you know, CO2, or it gets used up by living creatures. What are the living creature using all this is? Algae. Everything was fine until I tried using these algae wafers for the algae eaters that are absorbing all the oxygen in here. Plus the plants don't really help that much. I was told to get an aerator anyways, but I thought that it wouldn't work like that and I was wrong. I was so wrong. Don't make my mistake. Make sure you have some source of oxygen or else your pets are going to die. Unless you just buy the fish because they look cool but you don't give a shit about them, that's not any reason to have fish to begin with. You're not going to love them like you would a dog or a cat or a bird or anything. Don't get it. Alright, well, I'm going to put some more. Okay, he's laying back down again. He's probably still recuperating. That's why it's called Fishy ER. But I will blow some more bubbles in there. And then I'll put some more of this oxygenated water that's right around the, uh, the aerator in there. And then I'll just let... <clears throat> whatever happens happens and I'll just wait if I can get him to start I know sometimes betas rest but like he never has He usually, maybe he lays horizontally like he would raise vertically he would lay vertically like this like this in a tank never like this or he lays in that big plant right there the big green one so yeah here's hoping that I can get everything fixed I got these Nerite snails. These, these guys breed in salt water. This is not salt water. They need salinity. I, I, as a bio, from a biological standpoint, I'd assume to help them form their shells or something. Because then they can come into fresh water and get salt from food to then create bigger shells or new shells or what have you. You know? But... Hey, I just realized the aerator is going to help push some crap towards the towards the filter, so that's kind of nice. But let's just hope that everything goes well. This is the Super Light 7 and Mr. Alpha signing out. Peace.